Good morning. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Man, it's getting cold at night. Car life views. This is where I slept. <laughs> Put my contacts in because I am fucking blind without them. You know, sometimes I think that all the people in the world who wake up and just have vision wild to me it's like you wake up and you can just see that's crazy man it is sometimes fun though when you take your contacts out and everything becomes a giant blur <laughs> but i would still prefer to have perfect vision but here we are go drive to a different Planet Fitness because I literally was in this Planet Fitness last night and I slept in their parking lot so I'm gonna go drive to one that's like 20 minutes away but it's 20 minutes closer to where I'm going today so it feels like a fair compromise. I am going to Safeway. I'm headed into the mountains for, well, mountains, rainforest. I am headed into nature for about a week. So I need to get some groceries. And all that. And Safeway is my go-to grocery store. chopsticks are the world's hardest fucking thing to find uh but there is a asian grocery store like a korean shop um close by so i would bet my life that they have chopsticks
I'm so happy. It was such a cute little store. I love places like that. Now, so good. I remember the first time I ever had Thai tea was at Dottie's Donuts in Philadelphia. I was dating a vegan at the time and he took me there because it's a vegan donut shop. Surprisingly good. Dottie's is fantastic, but they had Thai iced tea. I fell in love. I've got about a two and a half hour drive ahead of me, so. I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna drive. I'm probably gonna get gas somewhere because Olympic Peninsula I mean, they have gas, but I'm going to like the um, the eastern side, and there's like a stretch of no gas till you get to Forks. But yep, yeah, so I'm gonna drive for a while. Catch y'all on the trip. <laughs> I was correct. There was no sunset, but I'm at the beach. I made it here. I'm happy. It's beautiful. It's not even five o'clock. It's getting dark and I have nothing to do. <laughs> God, daylight saving to really, really fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably going to go find somewhere to hang out for a few hours. <laughs> Winter again. Short ass days. I don't. It's the toughest time to live in a car, is winter. It just inevitably is. So.
No camping or overnight parking. <sighs> snack time. By snack, I mean dinner. I feel like I have two. This is what I'm eating. I have kind of two modes with food. It's either I eat just a ton of snacks throughout the day, or I eat just one huge meal. <laughs> Those are the only two things I do. I'm not like a three meal a day balanced type of person. That is what living in a car has done to me. The one meal is usually because it's just inconvenient to cook a lot of meals. But then there's days like this where a lot of the time we're from the city, I am doing errands, going to the gym, stuff like that. I just snack. Um, so that's what we're doing today. I spent an hour watching some YouTube and then I drove and then I realized that the spot where I'm planning on sleeping tonight is like five minutes away. <laughs> So, I pulled over here to eat and just hang out till 8, 9 o'clock, till it's an appropriate time to go to bed. I should take up like knitting or something. I generally get ready somewhere where for bed, somewhere where I'm not sleeping, and then I just drive to where I'm going to sleep, so when I get there, I can just crawl in the back, and everything's already set up. I guess it's also, like, an extra layer of safety. With all my blinds up, you can't see, like, who's in the vehicle, so being someone traveling alone... I guess specifically a female, um, you know, I get to where I'm going, I crawl in the back, like, there's not a lot of time to see who's in the vehicle, so I feel like that just makes me feel safer, I guess. It's probably all in my head, but if it makes me feel better, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Whenever you see my hair in braids, assume it's because I know I'm not getting a shower for a while and braids help to um, prolong <laughs> my hair looking clean. And like I said in my last, in my, not last, I don't know what order I'm posting the videos, but like I said in my other video, it is also hat season, so that helps a ton. Ready for bed. Got my pepper spray, stun gun, and glasses out. Now I just have to go pee and drive to where I'm going to sleep for the night. I'm going to sleep in here. Changed my mind. This road is shit. I'm going to head farther north. I don't know, I kind of go by just how I feel if I show up to a spot and I'm like, ooh, I'm not going to be able to sleep here because I'm going to be uncomfortable and I don't sleep there and I go somewhere else. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry, This I do not remember this road being this terrible. Um, so I'm going to go focus on driving. check back in with you when I figure out where I'm sleeping for the night. The minefield. Like, 
how to avoid I've committed to a spot. There's actually a campsite further down. Um, but I hate driving around campsites at night trying to find a spot and also technically you need the discover pass to stay there and I don't have the discover pass and I don't have service to get the discover pass and I'm not interested in getting it anyways so I am parked in a pullout before the campsite technically before the sign that says discover pass required so technically I think I'm good but there's always a chance that I might not be, but I'm feeling good about this. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm getting up pretty early tomorrow, so. Thanks for coming along in an average day of my life. It's not very exciting. It's um, the gym, shopping. Usually Starbucks and working on my laptop would be involved, but I was really trying to get here before sunset, thinking it might be pretty, but it was just so cloudy. But yeah, at least I saw the beach. Haven't seen the beach in a while. Haven't seen the beach on this side of the country in a while. I was just at Cape Cod a few weeks ago, so I saw the beach there. But yeah, thanks for coming along. I know car life and van life can seem very idealized at times, but... Um, it's a lot of just hanging out. <laughs> I don't really, surprisingly, I never really get lonely. I, I really like the constant being alone. I think it's when I'm at my best. So, thanks for joining me. <laughs> I do like doing this because it does give me, I guess, someone to talk to. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyways. Thank you guys. What do I usually say at the end of these videos? Um, oh yeah. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Someday I'll be good at this.